Oh hell no. Hi guys, uh, just here to take a look at my swap vest that I got uh, a few weeks ago. Now I used it in my last camping video and I did mean to go over what I have in each pocket in that video but I just forgot to do it. So I thought I might as well do a specific video about the vest and I'll go through everything for you now. Right, starting up here in this pocket I've got a little first aid kit basically. Got bandage there, plasters and various other bandages and things in there. Should patch myself up if need be, just a basic kit, but enough. Hopefully, I won't to have anything more severe on a day out that that can't deal with. And then in the pocket on the other side, I've got a compass at the minute, though actually, I keep this pocket just as a spare, really. But um, just for the time being, just for the sake of putting something in there, really, I just whacked a compass in there. But that's um, really a sort of a, a spare pocket whatever I feel like I'll need for whatever trip I'm going on with it. Now the pockets in this aren't big enough that I could store a, a bottle of water or anything which is kind of a shame so this isn't something you could go out with just this you'd, you'd want you know at least a bottle of water or whatever on your belt but this is just a ha handy way to carry smaller items but distributing the weight around I mean it, once again with this thing if I hold it in one hand it feels heavy having it on like this it doesn't just like the webbing. Now this pocket here I've got a flashlight and that's attached there so if I drop it I won't lose it but that will disconnect it's just a little clip holding it on there and then that fits in there easily that's the thing I use the most so that's why I've got it closest to hand in here I've got my fire kit just a small one I've got a lighter and a mint tin full of matches and then on the end here I've got a little cutlery set. It's got a spoon that slides in the handle there, a knife that pulls out, bottle opener, all the basic kind of things you'd get on a little cutlery set like that, fork. And it's just handy to always know that I've got something to eat with. Down here I've got one of those emergency whistles. It's full of matches as well, but it's in a waterproof container. I've also got a little compass on the end, but it's only a small one. Though they do work quite well, but I don't know if I'd want to rely on that necessarily other than as a backup. But yeah, it's a whistle with the waterproof matches inside. I'm sure you've all seen those before. You can get them for like 50p. They're a good bit of kit though. In here I've got a monocular. I don't often carry binoculars with me, even though they are pretty useful and fun to use. But uh, just got a little monocular in there. It can be handy as well. And then lastly here I've got a multi-tool. It's one of these Leatherman style kits. Got various things on it, knives and all that. Uh, and it's also got an adapter you can fit screwdriver heads on. So actually I, I mean, I've got that out of Audi, it's quite cheap, but I love that. It's uh, my favourite multi-tool I've had. And then on this side here, I've got a saw in this first pouch, just a little folding pruning saw. And then in the second pouch I've got tissues, antiseptic wipes and also a foil survival blanket that you can put on, you know, if you get injured and you're in the cold want to reflect the heat back on you. Thought I'd shove it in there with, with those, even though I'd kind of like to have this just as a specific toiletries pouch. It seemed like a waste not to use up the extra space, so I put the emergency blanket in there as well. Now there's also a couple of pockets on the back, which I haven't used, but I keep them to put food in. So, you know, you can stick a few bars of chocolate or cereal bars, energy bars, whatever you want in there. Um, you need to get little pouches and noodles will fit in there or whatever so you can carry a bit of food on you even though you can't fit any water bottles really on this or a, I mean the, unfortunately I was hoping one of these pockets would be big enough to fit a hexi stove in but they're not so you can't really fit a, a stove in it with you either so a bottle and, a, and cooking equipment you'd have to keep in a separate pouch 
sorry about the noise in the background throughout the video um, this is an absolutely beautiful bit of woodland and it's one of my favorites uh, around where I live but it is very close to a main road so you've constantly got either the humming of car engines in the background or the roar of jet engines overhead because we're also quite near a, an air base um, which is a shame really because if it wasn't for that it'd be perfect out here and I'd actually like to come camping here but uh, because of the noise and because it's quite close to the road and pathways and things I just don't know if there's anywhere I could camp here and uh, feel confident that I wouldn't get spotted basically and moved on uh, but I might try it one day anyway thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time